speeders seem to be causing big problems for people living in a Corpus Christi neighborhood, and some of the neighbors we spoke with say they have had enough. Sunrise reporter Chelsea Torres is looking into that problem. And Chelsea, tell us, is there any hope for those neighbors? Well, Mike, when I went to Mr. Heslip's home yesterday, I too saw the dangers of speeding in that neighborhood. And those residents are just wondering, is it going to actually take someone getting hurt before something gets done? A driver rammed right into Stan Heslip's fence and home Tuesday night. Heslip was in the room the car crashed into. But I just happened to be at my desk when it wouldn't happen. And, and, and I was just looking for bu a, a bullets coming through, but I, it, it was just an explosion. For Heslip, he's just happy no one was hurt, but says the biggest issue in the neighborhood are the speeding drivers. So you can come out any time of the day and night, you find somebody speeding straight through this area here. It's been a problem for years. Now, this is the second time that somebody has actually driven through Mr. Heslip's home. The first time, he had to move this fire hydrant. So what does it take just to get some speed bumps or to slow down the traffic on this road? Fellow neighbor Douglas Williams says he's lived in his home for 30 years and has seen the speeding get persistently worse over the years. Months ago, he went to City Hall to try and get some speed bumps on the road of Modesto. He has yet to hear back from the city. And yet the problem persists. And so I guess we, if those four people had been killed last night, or five, including the driver, I guess maybe there would have been some concern expressed by the city. I don't know what the problem is, but we need to address it. The city needs to address it. So what exactly would the residents of this neighborhood like to see? I would like to see a series of speed bumps and, and, and more monitoring, uh, you know, by the police. Okay, because we, we, we have problems out here. Uh, we have problems here. Now, I did talk to Lucy Rubio, who does represent that district, and she said that to get the process started for speed bumps, there's a $100 fee, and then a series of tests will be done before the bumps can be put in place. Reporting live in the studio, Mike Jen, back to you. 